Okay, right now, video and computer um, audio is on. Mom says, Katie, can you help on Elmo, please, honey? Yeah. So we can see you this way, Mom says? All right, let me see. Yeah, she can see me. Will you be able to? All right, so we'll probably need to move it over. Both so, guys, gonna lead the prayer right here. where do you want cream to move back? Uh, move it. All right, I didn't unlock it all the way. Can we just roll it over here from the feet? So that it oh, wow. Hey, once I thought that yeah, these Pokemon's weakness. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I like the yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Wa lillahi alhamd. Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome. Uh, it is so good to see you today. Um, I want to just explain to you that in a moment, Lathan is going to lead the prayer for us, and he is going to lead us with the um, hadith, these uh, surahs that are recommended for this day. He's memorized them. And so just to explain to you, there's no uh, aban for uh, Aid. There is no uh, aban for this prayer. In the first rakah, he will say, Allahu Akbar. Uh, for the first time, you will raise your hands and just follow and put him to your side. Uh, he will then do six more. On the final one, you will put your hands over your chest or stomach, whichever uh, way you follow, um, and then you will simply follow him. So it's very similar to Fajr. That's the only difference is that you'll have the Allah who Akbar's in the first rakah. In the second rakah, he will do Allahu Akbar and then five additional ones. And on that final one, which would be number six, you will then put your hands here or here, however you hold them, and follow the Imam. After which, just remain seated and we will have, inshallah, uh, the khutbah. And uh, so we will get the prayer started now. Can you guys uh, go on the right, please? سبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت 
فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمصيفر إلا من تولى وكفر فيعذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إنا إلينا إيابهم ثم إنا علينا حسابهم الله أكبر سمي الله لمن حمده الله أكبر 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 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله مساء وسنقرك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك اليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سينذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر سمي الله لمن حمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Thank you.
May Allah accept all of your good deeds and all of your efforts in this most sacred month, inshallah. May Allah make us to be among the righteous Muslims, those who practice our deen with fervor, with steadfastness, inshallah. إن الحمد لله تعالى نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ومن يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هدي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده رسوله. Indeed, all the praise is due to Allah. We praise Allah, we seek Allah's assistance and forgiveness. We seek refuge in Allah from the evil within ourselves. Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, no one can misguide them. Whoever is not guided by Allah, there is no guide for them. I bear witness that there is no deity, there is no God worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is alone with no partners, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave. Why, well, yeah, somebody with you. Oh, you believe, fear Allah by doing all that Allah has ordered you to do, and by abstaining from all that Allah has prohibited. Fear Allah, is Allah alone should be feared, and die not except as Muslims. I'm not bad. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Today I want to challenge myself and you to take a close look at what we are celebrating today. We are here to celebrate Eid al-Adha, the greatest day amongst the days of Allah, Azawajal. May Allah be exalted. Today I want to challenge you to take a close look at Ibrahim Salam's illustrious rank. Those messengers, we call some of them to excel others. Among them are those to whom Allah spoke. And Allah exalted some of them in rank. And we heard this verse repeated in Surah Baqarah verse 253 and in Surah 17 verse 55. Ibrahim Ali Salam was the quintessential Muslim. Although this day is a special celebration of the way of Ibrahim Ali Salam, we should buy to be the pristine monotheist that he was. We should buy to celebrate this very prayer, this way in every prayer every time, every year, when we pay zakat, if we're eligible, every time we fast, and when we go to hajj. Mm -hmm. This is how we gain rank in this life and in the hereafter. Testifying to the rank of Ibrahim Ali Salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah 16, verse 120 to 123, Ibrahim was indeed an ummah, a nation or community. Not the people that followed him, but he alone, devoutly obedient to Allah, inclining toward truth, Hanifa. And he was not among the mushrikeen, and he was grateful for Allah's favors. Allah chose him and guided him to a straight path. And we gave him good in this world, and indeed in the hereafter, he will be among the righteous. Then we revealed to you, O Muhammad, to follow the path of Abraham, inclining toward truth. Ibrahima Hanifa, Hanifa. And he was not among the Mushrikeen, those who ascribe divinity to other than Allah. He turned away from all that is false. 
If it was contrary to the hawk, if it was contrary to the truth, if it was contrary to divine revelation, he turned away from it. He did not say, I know the Quran says this, but Ibrahim was devoutly obedient to Allah. Are we? Where do we rank in obedience to Allah? We are all told to follow, follow the father of monotheism, Ibrahim. And we're told that Muhammad وسلم, followed the way of Ibrahim. Where do we rank in following the way of Ibrahim? Ibrahim السلام, was an ummah. He had so much iman, so much faith, that he carried on the work of an entire nation by himself. He was an example and model for all mankind. Today, we should stop to examine ourselves, to examine our father and ask ourselves, what is our rank with Allah? How much faith, how much iman do we have? How much work are we doing in our community? Are we even pulling our own weight, never mind pulling the weight of a community, of an ummah? Are we always looking to see what the community can do for us? Are we looking to see what we can do for our community? Ibrahim Ali Salam ranked number one in his understanding and practice of Tawheed. Ibrahim Ali Salam ranked number one in his understanding and practice of Taskiyah, self purification. Ibrahim Ali Salam ranked number one in his understanding and practice of building a society with faith. Where do we rank? in demonstrating our belief in one God, in Tawheed? Where do we rank in commitment to our community? And where do we rank in our commitment to building a family and then a society with faith? Ibrahim Ali Salam was Hanif, a believer in pure monotheism, specifically among the pre-Islamic Arabs and other people. There were 360 false idols surrounding the Kaaba, but he didn't think to turn to any of them. He came to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a sound heart. From the time he was a young boy, he recognized the falsehoods of the society he lived in. He saw through the illusions of his society, the glitter and the glamour of this world, and the idols of this world. When he saw them worshiping idols, he said, do you worship what your own hands are making? Do you worship something that cannot put itself back together? Ibrahim Salam was also a man of shukr. He was grateful for the blessings, for the na'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was grateful in adversity and in prosperity. Many Muslims in prosperity have forgotten to thank Allah. And we see many of them oftentimes only at Aid. Ibrahim Ali Salam said, my prayer, my ritual, my life and my death are for Allah. Ibrahim did not say, I will pray once or twice a year. The reason Ibrahim Ali Salam has an illustrious rank before Allah Azza wa Jal is because of the purity and sincerity of his relationship with his beloved Lord. The full surrender of his heart to Allah. People who are sincere are genuine. They have no hypocrisy or pretension. They don't say a salam alaykum and then chew their brother or sister up when they turn around, because that would be false, and that would be hypocrisy. In Surah Al-Baqarah, verses 130 and 131, who would be adverse to the faith of Ibrahim except one who makes a fool of him or herself, or who is weak in mind? And we chose him in this world, and indeed in the hereafter, he will be among the righteous. When his Lord said to him, surrender, 
He said, I have surrendered to the Lord of all the worlds. Today, we are here to celebrate his surrender to Allah. He was tested with a test that no man has since been tested with. He was commanded to slay his son and he obeyed the command. Hopefully you are celebrating your submission to Allah during the greatest 10 days of the year. Inshallah, you have fasted. Inshallah, you have prayed night prayers. Inshallah, you have done extra good deeds. Inshallah, in this sacred month, you have avoided that which is prohibited. My challenge to you is that if you haven't surrendered and you are playing games with Allah, that you repent, amen, and get back on the Sarat al Mustaqim, get back on the straight path. We make mistakes and we falter and we fail, but we must always know that Allah's mercy is there for us to come back. Don't be deluded by the world and all of its idols. The Holy Prophet وسلم, referred to Ibrahim as the best of creation. And when we practice the principles of Islam with the conditions that Allah has given to us, then we too can be among the best of creation. And we can manifest and realize the best of creation. So I ask again, where do we rank in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation? I genuinely lovingly beg you to consider this question today. I am not here to indict you, but to invite you to this illustrious way. And I love you all for the sake of Allah. When we start striving to be the best of creation, we will create a world of peace and tranquility where everybody wins where no one is hungry, where no one goes to bed at night without food. The Holy Prophet وسلم, mentioned Ibrahim as one of the prophets whose intercession the believers would seek on the day of judgment. And this is found in Bukhari and Muslim. The Prophet وسلم, met Ibrahim السلام, in one of the heavens during his mirage, his ascension into the divine presence saying that he had found Ibrahim السلام, seated in the al bayt al-Ma'mur, the populated house in which 70,000 angels pray in successive groups, never to return to it again. And this is found in Bukhari. To be a Hanif means that we incline toward the truth with pure faith, with pure Iman, not faith that is adulterated or mixed with hypocrisy and pretense. To be a Hanif means that we incline towards any man that is not mixed with impurities, not tainted by our own egos and our own nafs and our own desires and compulsions and wills. It is a Yaqeen faith. It is a faith of certainty and certitude. Who wants to be a Hanif? In Surah 98, verse 5, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah azza wa jal, says of the Jews and Christians, they were not commanded to worship Allah, being sincere to Allah in the religion, inclining to truth and to establish salat and to give zakat, and that is the correct religion. This is all they were commanded to do. If we are not doing this, then are we correct? If you follow this way and truly celebrate this way with purity of heart and no hypocrisy, sincerity will be demonstrated in the way you commit to the one that gives you breath. If you have been among those who have been insincere, you don't need to tell anyone we don't have a priest in Islam. You only need to tell Allah. Today, if you haven't been praying five times a day, if you haven't been fasting or feeding the poor or paying zakat, 
visiting your Lord's house. Obviously, COVID has some exceptions to that rule. But perhaps visiting your Lord inside of your home, committing to becoming a Hanif today. One is not established in their Islam when they do not pray five times a day. One is not established in Islam when they come to the masjid once or twice a year. One is not true unless they like Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam direct their face, their personality, their countenance, their whole self toward the religion, inclined to truth and are not found among the mushrikeen, those who ascribe divinity to any other than Allah and do not evoke apart from Allah that which neither benefits or harms them. For if they do, they will indeed be among the wrongdoers. Akuli kali hadha wa staqfir Allah, nebalikum. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulullah. The pure sound religion corresponds to fitra. That is the original nature, constitution, disposition, and innate character which Allah Azawajal, who is Al Fatih, the originator, created each thing in existence, including mankind, according to Allah's words found in Surah 30, Surah Arum, verses 30 and 31. Then set your face, set your personality, your countenance, your whole self. Set your face toward the religion inclining to truth. The God-given nature, fitra of Allah, with which Allah endowed mankind. No change shall there be in Allah's creation. That is the correct religion, but most people do not know. Turn to Allah and be mindful of Allah, and establish Salat. Establish means to do it all the time. It's firmly established. And do not be among the mushrikeen. It is from this that we can understand that the human being's connection to the Creator pertains to the inherent, unchangeable nature with which every soul comes into this world. 85% of us came out of our mother's womb in prostration to Allah, like this. Unless you were a cesarean or a breech birth or maybe some other complications, you came out in submission to Allah. And whether you came out in sujood or not, you still came out perfect on the fitra of Allah. It is this nature of fitra that causes a child to be intuitively open to Allah and to pure religion unless its mind has been bent in some other direction by influences surrounding it. Abu Huraira radiallahu anh, reported that the Holy Prophet وسلم, said, no baby is born without being born in fitra. But then his parents Judaize or Christianize or Magianize him or her. As an animal brings forth a whole animal, do you notice anything mutilated about it? We come out pure and unmutilated in our spirits, in our ruh, in our soul. Abu Huraira then recited the religion inclining to truth, the Allah given nature with which Allah endowed mankind. No change shall there be in Allah's creation. This is the correct religion. So today, if you have not been doing so, I lovingly beg you to set your face, your whole being steadfastly toward the one ever true faith turning away from all that is false and hypocritical in accordance with the natural disposition which Allah has instilled in you. Do not allow any change to corrupt what Allah has created. Being about Islam is your purpose, dear brothers and sisters. This is the purpose of the one ever true faith, but most people know it not. In Surah 3, verse 67, Ibrahim Salam was neither a Jew nor a Christian, but he was inclining toward truth, a Muslim, and he was not among the mushrikeen. Allah follows this up in the next verse by saying, turn then away from all that is false 
turning to Allah alone and remain conscious of Allah and be constant in prayer and be not among the mushrikeen. It is the Prophet Ibrahim salam whom Allah signaled out as a prototype and exemplar of al din al-Hanifa, the path of belief and worship of God, the praised and glorious, the exalted divine. And all of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's asma wa safat, and all of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uniqueness and endless glory, not associating any partners with Allah, nor ascribing to Allah any of the attributes of created being. Ibrahim was also the wali, the friend of Allah. One of the most impressive indication of Ibrahim's high rank is the fact that Allah chose him to be Allah's close friend. According to Allah's saying in Surah 4 verse 125, and who is better in religion than one who surrenders him or herself to Allah while being a doer of good and follows the religion of Ibrahim alayhi salam inclining toward truth. And Allah took Ibrahim as his close friend, Khalil. Truly, this is a wonder to us. It is almost beyond our imagination that Allah, the exalted and glorious, the creator of all things, the Lord of all the universes and all they contain, should choose a finite mortal, regardless how good he may be as Allah's close and dear friend. Nonetheless, this is what Allah Azawajal says about Ibrahim alayhi salam and what his last prophet alayhi salam confirmed in a number of ahadith. The prophet alayhi salam said each prophet has a close friend among the prophets and my close friend Wali among the prophets is my father and the close friend Khalil of my Lord Ibrahim. He then recited the verse, indeed the foremost people with respect to Ibrahim are those who follow him and this prophet Muhammad and those who believe. And Allah is protector of the believers. We have to ask ourselves, what is a friend? A friend is a person whom one knows, likes and trusts. Are we friends of Allah? Can Allah trust us to fulfill the mandate that he's given us? Can Allah trust us to pray five times a day? Can Allah trust us to pay zakat? Can Allah trust us to fast with the right conditions? Are we friends of Allah? Allah is pure and only accepts that which is pure. Can Allah trust us to do the job Allah has given us as the divine slaves? Can Allah depend on us? Because a friend is one who is allied with another. So on this glorious day, I pray that we will sacrifice the world, sacrifice our nafs, sacrifice our lower selves, sacrifice our egos and become the friends of Allah at whatever cost. Today I enjoin us to strive for Allah with the striving due only to Allah. Allah has chosen us and has not placed upon us any difficulty in the religion, the faith of our father Ibrahim. Allah named you Muslims beforehand in this revelation, Surah 22, verse 78. Indeed, this is a day of remembrance. Today is a day of victory. Ibrahim obeyed Allah and was given the victory. Individuals who submit to Allah with their whole selves succeed in securing spiritual rights and grow to have virtuous spiritual lives. It is these believers that prove triumphant over their nafs and proves his or her strong control over desires that attain a disciplined life, a life of purpose. By the grace of Allah, we will elevate ourselves to be Hanif and friends of Allah, whereby we receive supreme felicity, happiness, and tranquility, the greatest victory. Aid is a day of harvest. All good slaves in the service of Allah will root, root, reap the fruits of their sacrifice and obedience as Allah as a wajel, grants Allah's mercy and abundance abundantly above all we could ask or think. O oh Allah, help me in remembering you 
and in being grateful to you and in worshiping you in the best manner. O oh Allah, we seek your protection from disbelief, from poverty and chastisement in the grave. O oh Allah, rectify our lives for ourselves. O oh Allah, we seek your protection from cowardice and we seek your protection from attaining an age of worthlessness. And we seek your protection from the ordeals of life and from the punishment in the grave. O oh Allah, set aright our righteous lives, our religious lives, which you have made a means of sanctity in all our affairs. And set right our worldly life, which you have made a source of our maintenance. O oh Allah, we seek protection in your pleasure from your displeasure. And in your forgiveness from your punishment. And we seek protection with you from your wrath. No one can deny that which you bestow, and no one can bestow that which you deny, and no one can reject what you have decreed, and the wealth of the wealthy cannot help them from you. O oh, Allah, make us to be among the truthful and those who sacrifice our life and death in your cause. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Kabbalah min wa min kum. May Allah accept all of your deeds. And I pray to all of you that you enjoy this day and make it a day of healthy spiritual celebration. And so I'm just going to, if anybody wants to say anything or we can open the mic and just start greet each other, that would be awesome. Eid Mubarak from Daganika. Eid Mubarak from Daganika. Reporting off. Alhamdulillah.